camps been for you so far? And this is really your first training camp. Yeah. Sense. Yeah, it's been uh, real fun, really. It's just nice to uh, just be around the players because we really didn't get that, of course, because of COVID. So I just like it because we're getting closer as a team. And then on the football side of it, it's just been real fun because I already learned the playbook since uh, since I've been here last year. And I, I get to just do really whatever because I know where I'm supposed to be at on the field. So it's just, it's just been real fun. And I like it. I'm playing ball, so I love it. Yeah, it's been good so far. Uh, not being able to play helped out a lot just because I got to see what the older guys were doing and what they saw. And then it really just gave me, uh, like, sit out the time to really uh, understand the playbook more and know what I'm doing. Because I really didn't know what I was doing all the time because I was too busy focusing on the formations and things like that and then where I had to be. But uh, it just helped out a lot because it, it gave me a chance to breathe and really focus on, uh, like, the position I was looking at at the time. So. Just, it was, it was just, uh, it helped out a lot just sitting out and learning. Did you feel a lot more comfortable and play faster when you came back? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it just helped out a lot. I felt a lot of, a lot of, a lot of comfortable. Yes, sir. Coach Musgrave described you as a sort of natural player. Mm -hmm. Do you know what he means by that? And describe what, what, he, what do you think that is? Uh, I would just say natural player is like God giving abilities most of the time. Uh, some of the stuff we do on the field is just God giving abilities. There's nothing you can do about it. So probably just like my, my catching radius and things like that and things I do during my route, most of the time it's just God giving and I think that's what he means. How much different is, I mean you haven't played a college game yet, but right. how much different is this level than in high school I think you caught 50 touchdown passes and yeah. you, you made it look pretty easy at times <laughs> probably, yeah. how, uh, much, how much of a leap is it? Uh, to me, the leap is just uh, a lot of people to me were a lot more ranger and bulkier, a little stronger. So I, I was just getting used to uh, just adding on some more weight so I can eat those little, uh, like the jams at the line and stuff like that. But other than that, it's just been, uh, I wouldn't say the same, but it's just been more uh, faster, a lot faster. But uh, it's, it's been fun. It's, it's not really too much of a difference, but those two things were like, uh, I saw the difference in. I talked to you in the spring, we did a Zoom call. Ooh, yes, sir. And uh, I'm wondering, what have you done, you know, what did you spend your time on and devote your, your energy to since then? Uh, most of the time, since last we talked, uh, just working on my, uh, what I, with, with Coach Toy, just my, like, releases and things like that, making sure I wasn't rusty or anything like that. So, uh, I've just been, been with Coach Toy and working with, uh, him when I can. And then just going back home and talking to my old wide receiver coach, just working with him. But that's pretty much it. I was just trying to knock off the rust and make sure I'm good for the, the, the spring ball we had and then the fall camp now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, I feel like it has because I still I still have like down on my mind. I don't know like how good you never know until like you're out on the field. So it helps out a, a little bit, but I still I want to prove it to myself that I'm really going to do something in a game. So, but it it does help out. It gives me a little boost of confidence for sure. Yes, sir. Uh, I would just say the. My catching ability, my catch radius is big, and I feel like my releases at the line is really good too. I don't think people think I'm as fast as I am, so I, I think that helps me out a lot. It gives me a oh, and then I feel like my uh, yards after catch is cool too. I think so. So yeah, yeah. I feel like I can. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Jeremiah, it's been almost two years since you played in a game. <laughs> yes, does that sir. feel like forever? And how excited are you for September fourth? It definitely does feel like forever, and. I just can't wait to get back out there and see all the fans and things like that, see the college atmosphere, how different that is from high school. But I, I'm just, I'm hungry, I can't wait, can't wait. you expect to be nervous? Oh, for sure. I'm always nervous before a game, but once I get like that one hit in me or a one catch, I should be good. So even in high school, you felt you Oh yeah, for sure, every game. Is that good for you? Does that give you some energy? Uh, I think so, yeah. I think it's good for me. Over the summer, did you develop any good connection <laughs> Uh, yeah, so over the summer, I just I just try to throw with all of them just to see, uh, not to see, but I just throw with all of them just to get connections with all of them. And it, to me, they're all cool. They all they all know the offense really well. So I just like to get pieces from each quarterback, see what they think about different routes and stuff like that. And it's been cool. I mean, I threw with each uh, each one of them, so it's been real fun. How's the camaraderie in the wide receiver room? It's it's real cool. Everybody tries to help out each other. It's no like big dog, nothing like that. Like. 
uh, we all ask we all ask questions. No matter if it's like the younger guys looking up to the older guys, the older guys looking up to young guys. We ask questions, get a lot of uh, a lot of information from each other. So it's been real cool. We try to lift up each other and, and be the best we can as a group. Oh yeah, yeah. Right. Right. Is is I mean. We haven't even looked at it like that, but that that is wild. But yeah, it's, it's been real cool in there. It's fun. I mean, us young guys, we just look up to those three guys, just trying to soak in as much information as we come before they leave. So yeah. Last week, um, Elijah Dix was in there talking about Chicky and what a yeah. what a great trash talk for you. Oh yeah. Have you been on the receiving any of any of that? In practice? Uh, I have quite a few times here and there, but that's just that's just how Chicky is, and I like it. I'm a I'm a competitor too. So I try to go back at him here and there. Now I don't really talk, but I, I like I like it. It gives me motivation to go at him. So uh, I, I like it. I like it. it's competitiveness. And him too, he, uh, Elijah too. They, they like to talk, and I, I love it. I love it. it gives brings energy out in the practice. So I love it. The tricky does have some trash talking. Skills. Oh yes, yes for sure he does. Yes, I give that to you. Remember yes, anything sir. in particular he said to you? Uh, he said I was never going to catch a deep ball on him. That's what he said. And you know, I kind of felt real good. That feel good, but that that's the only one I can remember right now. But yeah. How's your relationship like with Coach Toler? Because Toler is, is that's like he, he treats me like family, and it's it's real amazing. Ever since he uh, came down like for the, the the home visit, it was just we uh, just connected real well. And every I came out here a lot when I, on my official. Him and my family are just just he felt like he was my own blood. So it was it's real cool with me and Toler. It's real cool, yes sir. Yeah. Yeah. I just feel like the the most thing Toler gives is just uh like he relies to most of the stuff that we do because he's he's actually been here. He actually played the sport, and he's done a lot of things we're doing. He knows our body is sore, so he he like he just knows how to relate to us real well and get the most out of each and one of us. So I think that's real cool. The staff has had an interesting philosophy with Yeah, I think so. So right now, like we got the longest range guys. It's like me, Trey, uh, Jay, Michael, of course, and then uh, Grizzle. We got those. Those are the long range guys. Little jump balls. We got Tommy too. And then we got the fast guys like Jay Bake and all of them. Uh, of course, we got Nico. Nico, the fast dude. And Cole, Cole is the one that can do a little bit of both. He's people don't think he's fast, but Cole is really fast and he can go get it if he wants to. So I feel like we got each each like person to check off a box if we really needed to. What are your thoughts on the two young receivers? Uh, oh, Maven. 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 I think they came in really well. They knew the playbook crazy. They they they've been in their playbook. You can tell. And they just again, I feel like they have a little bit not not a little bit. They do have God given abilities and just. Help them on the field is really you, you can tell they've been in their playbook and working on the off season. Do you see any similarities to you and Jay Mike? Seems like there might be. Uh, that's <laughs> yeah. We we don't think so, but there definitely there definitely is. I can see it. Uh, he's really like we have the same body type and everything like that. He can get it when he wants to. He can go get the ball. So it's real crazy. Yeah, this is there's a lot of similarities. Yes, sir. How are you physically? Uh, I'm good right now. I'm just a little banged up, but I feel like everybody's banged up just because. Uh, it's fall ball. Everybody's been through a lot with spring and stuff and summer camp and all that thing. But uh, well, I'm good. Stuff right now, just to yeah, just to, just to recover my body. But I'm I'm good right now. Well, not right now, but uh, I'll be good. The guy on, comes on the outside, having seen some of the things that freshman tight ends like JT and Kalecki. Mm -hmm. Does that excite you a little bit? Because they're going to be taking away maybe some of the spotlight from you guys to give you some more opportunities out there. Uh, yeah, I think that that helps out a lot. Either either us doing that for them or them doing it for us. It just it just helps out a lot. And we're just looking to, to move the ball and score. So whatever helps us, that if that helps us, then we love it. Yes, sir. Uh, said, uh, Nico talked about sort of the chat between the DBs and the wide receivers. There's a what? My bad. He said there was a group chat made between the DBs oh, yeah. and the wide receivers. Mm -hmm. and there's gonna be a lot of competition and trash talking in there. Oh yeah, it's for sure. One of the younger guys, you just you just dive. Into that, or do you uh, watch the older guys and see what they say first, and then figure out what you want to say. Uh, I really don't get into none of that. I just just do uh, do what I'm supposed to do on the field. But it's just it's just nice to look at what they're saying. It's just I think it's funny most of the time. But I I don't get into that. I just let the older guys do what they have to do, do what they need to do. And then I'm, I'm right behind Nico and Cole. I'm right behind them. So whatever they they feeling like, I'm, I'm feeling the same way.